I'm not the kind of person who attends protests and demonstrations in public places. This video is meant to help make things safer for everybody, the police, the protesters, and the rest of the general public. I know for fact that dangerous foreign and domestic enemies exist who seek to undermine our democracies by doing things to further harm our ability to trust our police and our government authorities. These foreign and domestic enemies profit from conflict and gain more power and wealth by weakening us. They have enormous resources and know how to spread dangerous disinformation and dangerous half-truths so as to confuse, divide, and incite people to do things which are not only harmful to other people, but which undermine good efforts. They also use infiltrators and saboteurs. Think about it. How to protest safely and effectively. How to protest and demonstrate peacefully with the least chance of infiltration by thugs posing as supporters. A truly wise and successful protest is not one where the police are taunted, threatened, and harmed, and thus provoked into reacting. A truly wise and successful protest is one where the police are able to balance their obligation to protect property and people with their obligation to protect the fundamental human rights and freedoms of all citizens in a relatively democratic society. Unfortunately, most protests these days are deliberately set up to fail, so as not to achieve optimal results. Because there are those within and outside such protests who secretly work to undermine our rights and our lives. Think about this. The police get intelligence reports about dangerous troublemakers who intend to infiltrate, hijack, and sabotage protests. Such reports include information about very sick and harmful things that those troublemaking thugs intend to do towards the police. I do not need to nor want to list all the kinds of terribly sick things these thugs are willing to do and use. Thus, the police are rightfully afraid of protest in general and would prefer not to have to be involved except that they would lose their jobs and their loved ones would end up homeless and worse. Most protesters are not thugs and have no intention of causing harm or getting into trouble. But when things get noisy, loud and chaotic, out of hand, then the police are unable to properly distinguish between those who are merely caught between the infiltrating thugs and the police lines, and those who are the real thugs. Some police have suffered so much trauma over the years that they have become unable to cope properly, and when they feel provoked they lash out in full fury. More and more protesters and police suffer from post-traumatic stress disorders. Eventually fear turns into hate. Eventually, fear turns into hate. Remember that. And the thugs, the political extremists and other psychopaths who seek to ruin things for everyone, know these facts all too well. Like the school bully, they know how to manipulate people and incite incidents, riots and all-out war. Those thugs want the police and society to be in constant fear and hate in the senseless conflict. And some of those thugs are top thugs who receive significant money and support from those of the elite who are also thugs. Mind you, not all elite are thugs, but too many are and they want to profit from conflict and from being able to exploit divided society. The wrong way to protest. Loud, noisy, chaotic protests which are easy for saboteurs to infiltrate and trigger incidents. Protests which fail to keep within the prearranged path and limits and which seek confrontation with the police. Protests that are not properly announced and are not sufficiently monitored and covered by the media. Protests that merely complain about problems but which do not offer valid alternative solutions. Protests which fail to carry on in a different daily form that each individual can express safely.
Protests which threaten violence towards individuals and towards the elites. Protests which fail to cleverly invite those of the elites who might be convinced to change their ways. Protests which are ambiguous and which leave room for divisive antisocial messages. Protests which are not silent and which do not have uniform, powerful, messaged signs. The right way to protest. Peaceful, quiet, silent protest, which are not easy for saboteurs to infiltrate. Protests which keep within prearranged paths and limits and which avoid confrontation with the police. Protests that are properly announced and are sufficiently monitored and covered by the media. Protests that not only complain about problems, but which offer valid alternative solutions. Protests which live on in a different daily form that each individual can express safely. Protests which have nonviolent messages and which are logical and scientific. Protests which cleverly invite those of the elites who might be convinced to change their ways. Protests which are easy to express and which leave no room for divisive anti-social messages. Protests which are impressively quiet and silent and which have uniform, powerful messaged signs. Why it is a bad idea to get arrested. If you are protesting against social injustice, why on earth would you want to give money to any entity that you are protesting towards? Because getting arrested puts money in the wrong place. Money that could be spent on quality and informational books for your cause. Also, getting arrested can be dangerous. Not only can you forever lose your chances of getting relatively decent employment, but you might be put inside a cell with hardcore thugs who might seriously harm you and you also risk being harmed by any violators of authority. Getting arrested can ruin your life. Be safe. If you and or your friends and comrades are planning to protest or demonstrate against any injustice and unfairness, then be sure to use this video and share it with everyone. Safe and effective protests and demonstrations are a healthy part of any and every democratic society no matter how weak such a democracy might be. As for totally non-democratic societies and systems and governments, that is for another video, not this one. And here are some other great ideas. Aside from a specific protest demonstration event, why not wear a t-shirt or a large button with a frown on it, or with a simple but strong protest message? That way you can discuss the issue with people who might ask you what that's about. Also, if you can organize a small flash group of a dozen fellow protesters, you can do a brief comedic routine in a specific location each time of the day. Think of the Marx Brothers routines. Humor is power. Also, sharing YouTube videos and creating video message chains is a very effective way to strengthen a protest in between protest dates. Please share this particular video too. You would think most people know this already. They do not. And by recommending this video, you can save lives and save resources. Thank you. Also, be sure to watch my video titled Asimovian Robotonomics. Asimovian Robotonomics is a term I coined. Please be sure to watch this video as it is very important. Thank you.